guys, it's your girl Jace back at it again with another video. Today I have my sister here with me. Hi, I'm Jackie. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, she's been in them. But today I have her here with me because we're going to be talking about the, this blow dryer that has been circling around the internet. And they've been saying, a lot of people have been raving about it. So I'm going to let my sister uh, explain it and talk about it because this is her blow dryer. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read directly what it says online. So it says, the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer is a is a design hot airbrush to deliver gorgeous volume and brilliant shine in a single step. The unique oval brush designs smooth hair while the round edges quickly create volume at the root and beautifully full body curls at the end in a single pass for salon blowouts at home. Um, it says the brush is designed with nylon pin and tufted bristles for detangling, improved volume and control, and then it does come in different color options. I specifically bought the mint. I believe they have a, uh, a black one and a black and pink one as well. Um, and it does have different settings. It has cool, low, and high. Um, I want to say that every detail that I just said that I read, I want to say it it does what it claims to do. Mm -hmm. um, I personally, I have really short and um, wavy hair, and I honestly, I just comb through it, and it literally gives me such great volume and such shine. You literally can just go like this, and it just feels so nice and smooth when I've used um, I bought mine from Amazon. Um, it was probably about like 60 bucks, which you can get at Target, $56.99, Ulta, $59.99. So you can just look around, but I would say around roughly $60. So now that we know that it works on her type of hair, I want to go ahead and try it on my type of hair. So you guys already know that I'm a curly girl and I love my curls. I barely ever straighten my hair. But when she told me about this, I was like, you know, let me go ahead and try it out because it does have the cool setting and it has low setting and just see if it the if it gives me the same results it gave her so we're gonna go ahead and try it out so all my curly girls and everybody else out here that is watching this video if you guys want to see if it leaves the same results that it did on her hair then just keep on watching all right guys so my hair i washed it this morning before i came to my sister's house and it's completely dry um so for my sister's hair the way she did it is she had her hair uh semi-wet it was damp so we're going to go ahead and dampen my hair just because my hair is dry and I do have a little bit of knots. I did add that keratin plus into my hair just to smooth out my hair and make sure it's shiny when I um, strain it. But we're going to go ahead and just add some water to dampen it up and detangle it and then we'll get right through the blow drying. So we're just going to go ahead and dampen my whole hair. Sorry. <laughs> Don't mind a little tiny aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have brought my spray bottle, but it's all right. Ah, oh my God. God. already in 19 minutes I mean 20 minutes um, so it's really not taking that long so now we have half my hair left and hopefully it'll take like 10 more minutes right we are stopping in between anyway and like taking care of the baby too so that maybe why it's taking a little bit longer than usual so I wanted to talk to you guys about my second trimester update so I am currently now in my third trimester but I did want to do a update on my second trimester because I did one for my first trimester and you guys second trimester is always the best trimester out of your pregnancy um at least for me it is but i hear a lot of moms say that second trimester is like the best part of the pregnancy because there's they don't have any symptoms they're not nauseous they get their energy back and that's exactly how i felt i had a lot of energy my energy came back so i was moving a lot more um the i, didn't, I wasn't nauseous anymore i wasn't vomiting anymore so I was so relieved when second trimester came along and yeah I'm trying to think of anything else um, I still use the bathroom a lot I still use it a lot during second trimester um, so nothing new there what else did you notice anything different my second trimester between my first trimester mm, I mean, you're still really tired 
but same, nothing really different. Well, right now, my third trimester, I feel like I'm starting to get tired. Oh, second trimester, yeah. which is first. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know when you're So, yeah, that's pretty much, like, the, the big difference between my first and second trimester. Like I said, I just have a lot more energy now. Well, I had a lot more energy then, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey guys, so for the front part, we're gonna go ahead and blow, blow dry it forward. That way when we put it back, it doesn't have a distinct part and it gives it more volume. Girl. We are officially done. Well, my sister is officially done with my hair. And it took about how long? I think it said, what? It was like about 40 to 45 minutes. I was trying to take my time with it, so. Mm -hmm. And this is the final result. I really, really like how it came out. My hair feels so smooth, so silky. Everything that the product claims that it does, the, what the blow dryer claims that it does, it, it really does. Like, my hair is silky. And I have curly textured hair so i recommend you guys using it if you have it or if you guys don't have it and you guys straighten your hair and you're a curly girl i would recommend that you buy it if you straighten your hair more often than i do i only straighten my hair maybe like once a blue moon honestly like i can go years without straightening my hair so if i decide to straighten my hair i'll be coming here and straightening my hair instead of actually buying it and just having it sitting around in my house and nobody use the blow dryer so yeah that's just my opinion on it um i did add something else in my hair at the end i added what is this called i call it way way hair care rose hair and body oil so you can put this on your hair or you can put this on your body i don't know if you guys can see it but um it's a very very lightweight oil and it really does help my hair feel less frizzy and a lot more silkier as well do you want to add anything no not really <laughs> so it definitely did take a lot longer than it usually takes yeah. for her to do her hair just because my hair is curly and my hair is longer than hers but like i said i would recommend you guys give it a try if you guys have it or if you guys are thinking about buying it so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have yet to subscribe, what, what are, are you doing? doing? Hit that subscribe button down below. Or my little face icon will pop up right there. And most importantly, don't forget to turn on your notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on any more of my videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, loves. Mwah.